it's a new day. We are in this beautiful square again for breakfast. Again, we just ate everything. Um, and I don't know what's happening, but there's like birds of prey surrounding <laughs> us a little bit right now. We got we got a falcon over here, which is crazy. And then there's an owl over here on top of the sign behind this lady's head perfectly. Oh, I can get it. Can you see it? Yeah. That is a large bird. No, you're good. Oh, he's getting all puffy. <laughs> Today, we kind of have a busy day. We are in the little tiny town of Betsy Coed, which is inside of Snowdonia National Park. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's fine. We're going with Betsy Coed. It's fine. Alrighty guys, buckle up while I try to show you exactly where we went on this extremely long travel day. We started the day again in Carnarvon before making a brief stop in the cute little town of Betsy Coed which I know I'm still pronouncing very wrong. After that, we drove all the way down the coast of Wales down to Pembroke, where we were hopping on the ferry to take us to Ireland. The ferry was at 2.45 in the morning and was about a four hour crossing. We got into Rosslare Harbor at about seven o'clock in the morning and immediately hit the ground running. The place we were staying that night was halfway between Killarney and Cork. But on this day, we wanted to drive all the way out to Dingle to get a little taste of the Dingle Peninsula before doing the Ring of Kerry the next day. But also, we're actually gonna hop on an Irish ferry tonight and head to Ireland. It's going to be nuts. We have to pay to park. Let's see. Eight a.m. to six p.m. Fifty pence. That's easy peasy. So around this little town, there are these little codes, and Ooh. what does it say? Oh, that was easy. This house was built for the it's okay. Guidir Estate, possibly in the 17th century. The estate covered a large area of the locality. The house is still a residence. That is so cool. So there's these little scanners all around town, and you can learn about each individual place that comes up, which I think is that's so brilliant. That's so smart. Then you don't have to like waste money and room on little plaques to put around everywhere. You just have a scanner and you're set. Middle of the night when the moon is high. Could you bring it down for So we stopped for a brief uh, bathroom break on the side of the road, this tiny little road. Um, a lot of roads are like this, by the way, if you didn't know, a lot of them don't have like road markings or anything. So you're kind of like driving in the middle of the road. Actually, there's a car coming so you can get an idea. Everybody goes quite fast down the center and hope that you kind of don't run into anybody. <laughs> Hold off here to check out the national animal, which is the sheep. I don't know if that's like an official thing, but it's basically official. There's one on this hill up here that's literally screaming at us. Like, he's right there. Or and his mother. He, oh, he won't stop, yeah. I think it's a baby like separated from mom and maybe he's being weaned possibly. Because that's the only thing I can really come up with why he's the only one there being so loud. There's literally <laughs> no other sheep right here that are like batting. Anyway, we're going to continue on. <laughs> um, we're headed to the port tonight to hop on a ferry to Ireland. The ferry is about four hours long. And so we're it's at also at like 2.45 in the morning. So we're not really sleeping at, in a spot tonight. We're actually going to be sleeping in the car, which should be a fun experience. Like these seats, you can't see them because of the glare, but the seats fold down all the way, which is great. I think it'll actually be a pretty decent night's sleep, like surprisingly so. I think it'll be similar to tenting or maybe even a little bit more comfortable because I don't know. it's not a ground. It's like and, and ish We don't have to worry about the tent getting wet or anything. Really, we're just, we're safe. Later that same evening. Alrighty guys, it's two in the morning and we're just about to drive on this big ass boat to Ireland. I forgot where we were going for a second. <laughs> we're really tired. I'm so tired. This ferry is really big. It has four decks of cars. It's big. And then two decks for people and then two decks for crew. I really hope we can sleep a little bit more on the boat, but I guess we're going to see how that goes. Here we go. We're over water. It is ginormous. I get it, there's two different decks to even load for the trucks. So the trucks are getting on below us right now. So they're really? Below. Yeah, I saw them. I was like, where the heck are all the trucks? They're like, oh, below so we're getting on the upper deck. Yeah. How wet it is. Too. 
a few moments later. Hey guys, we're in Ireland! Yay! We made it! We're and so tired! We're excited and we're really <laughs> tired because we got probably three hours of sleep. Yay! And Katie may have gotten less than that. <laughs> Apparently there were car alarms and announcements going off on the ferry every for like the first half hour and a Apparently, I didn't hear any of them. Oh, we're in kilometers now. Oh, of course we are. Wait, but the <laughs> car isn't. How do I know how fast I'm going? Is there not at all? No, it just shows miles per hour. Get the nav on. Okay. So I just recorded this huge long thing and it wasn't recording the entire time. But we used the ferry and it was perfect. It was a lot easier to deal with than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like we might have been the only ones on the boat with like American citizenship because we got off the boat and they asked for our nationality. We were like American? And he's like, oh. Do you have your passports? Like, I don't think he was expecting it that much. Your hair is really cute and I'm just now noticing it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm actually teaching Becca how to fly the drone. Drone is that way. Um, what you're seeing in front of us right now, this is, I believe, the Ring of Kerry. We're gonna be driving this tomorrow, but today we are going on the Dingle Peninsula right now. That's where we're currently at, just to see some beautiful views and the cliffs and the beaches and it's amazing and the weather is Perfect. It's really, really nice. It's perfect. Um, we hear uh, Ireland isn't really the best with uh, weather, and we seem to have come to the UK and Ireland at the right time. It's right there, so you can just fly it straight back. Woo! There's the drone. Here it comes. <laughs> Alrighty, we made it to Dingle. It's a cute little town. We're gonna walk right through it really quick and we're on the hunt for some really good chowder today. The plan? Harrison's family restaurant. Harrison's family restaurant? Apparently have, yeah, I didn't get there. All right. Apparently have really good seafood chowder, which sounded <laughs> delectable to both of us. Yes, really yes. I'm really looking forward Jamie, to it just because, I don't know, I really hope it rains. It might, maybe, get the full Irish experience. If so, chowder would be fantastic. This place is so cute. <laughs> It is so cute, all of it. So we found a place called Hamilton's and we both got the seafood chowder because apparently it is quite good. Looks pretty good to me. We got some butter, some bread, and the chowder. Oh, and you have mussels in it. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's chowder? like extra chunky, nice. Update. This is amazing. It comes with like a slice of Irish soda bread and you put some butter on it and dip it in here. It is heaven. I feel alive. I got forever in my eyes. This is all I need. Oh, I got everything. <laughs> Hi. You don't have food. <laughs> We decided to get away from the town a little bit in order to pet baby animals. <laughs> That's what's happening. Isn't it? Hi! Hi, little baby animal. Little sheepy sheep. Hi, little sheepy sheep. The backpack's pretty good, huh? Yep. It's a good backpack. It's pretty nummy. Yep. Num, 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 num. What do you think? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good, isn't it? It is good backpack. Yeah. Hi. You want to smell camera? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not so much. That's not a good smell, huh? I like that one. Not so much. Hello from present day. I am just about done editing this vlog, and I'm going to show you guys something super exciting. First of all, I think there's a pet under this bed. Oh, they're both under here. Are you guys just hanging out? Hi, kitty. Yeah. Hi, Noel. Everybody's missed you. Yes, everybody's missed you. And you know who else is here? Who's home? You! 
I know, but you haven't been in the vlogs really yet because oh. I've been going through all the travel vlogs. Oh. Give me your face, give me your face, give me your face. Look at all of this. Mm. Somebody's on R&R &R at the moment and uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty nice. But why don't you tell us what you're up to? I'm setting up my streaming stuff again. Woo! So yeah, I just haven't been streaming, basically. Uh, I've been wanting to do it a lot more. I kind of been like nervous about it, basically because I haven't done it in a long time. So it's like, it's like getting back into it is like really nerve wracking, but really excited to, to start it up again. Hopefully coming up here, I'll have a lot more time to do it. I just, I've been like, like busy with work and everything. And when I first started streaming, I had gotten back from a deployment. So I had a ton of time off. So that's why I was like, oh yeah, I was stream like all day or whatever. And then I started working again and I just like didn't stream basically for a long time. And then I, I went on another deployment and everything. So today's actually my last day of R&R. &R. So tomorrow I have to go back into work, but I really wanted to start streaming again. I'm setting everything up right now. I pretty much got it ready. I just have to test everything out to make sure all the sound and everything is correct before I actually go live. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, and also like since I've been on R&R, &R, I have not shaved at all. It's been awesome. This is like two weeks, two weeks of, yeah, two weeks of, of growth, which is awesome. I need a haircut though. So basically I have to go back into work tomorrow and I'm going back into work, except I'm not actually going to be working really because I'm going to be out processing the Air Force. Like that's going to be my number one job when I get back to work. So basically we're getting ready to get out of the Air Force and get on with the next chapter of our lives, which is coming up here pretty soon. It's really exciting and kind of scary at the same time but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Also, very importantly, is uh, a job. <laughs> Still working on that right now, and uh, hopefully I'll have some good news maybe next week or something like that, or, or new news, or some news of some sort, hopefully, because that's obviously very important and can't do much without a job, so that's gonna be my other big priority. Money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> Yeah, so just wanted to give you guys a couple little updates before we end today's vlog. There's a couple more travel vlogs that are coming up, but then I'm really excited because we're just about to like, we're gonna be getting into like normal life vlogs here pretty soon, which I'm really excited about. And I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the comments down below, like what you're most looking forward to for the next couple, you know, months for us, because there's gonna be just a lot of shifting. There, Blake's getting out of the Air Force. He's probably gonna be starting a new job here pretty soon. There's, we have a big potential that we might be moving. And all of this is all combining in the next couple months. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot and I'm really excited to like share that with you because I'm really excited to record it just for myself and look back on and be like, wow, remember when we did this? Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time. Bye. We pulled off here in Wales to um, check out the uh, National Mall. Na na national <laughs> We pulled off here. That's the new term. Guys, no, 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 no. For no. national. No, 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 no. <laughs>